One of the major prognostic factors with sarcomas is what's called their grade. And uh, the grade of the cancer basically tells us how fast it's growing. And these are really uh, divided into three grades, one, two, and three, with one being very, very slow growing, two being kind of intermediate growth, and three being very aggressive. But this grade is very important because the lower grade tumors, the gr grade one tumors, uh, the important thing about them, besides the fact they're gonna grow slowly, is that they generally do not metastasize, they do not go to other places. And so the standard treatment for those kinds of uh, sarcomas is to surgically remove them, if at all possible. In terms of uh, grade three tumors, the highly aggressive kind, uh, we still try to surgically remove them, but uh, we know that sometimes that's not enough. And so we have to incorporate things like chemotherapy, and the radiation into the plan maybe before surgery to make sure that the tumor is under control and not moving anywhere before the surgeons go in and take it out. With the grade two tumors, you're kind of in the middle and sometimes you go one way or another, but a lot of it's gonna depend on exactly the kind of sarcoma they have, how sensitive they are to things like chemotherapy or radiation, and also uh, how aggressive, you know, how close are they to three versus one um, in terms of how successful a surgery is going to be. At the very minimum, you have three different doctors that are intricately involved in the treatment of every sarcoma patient. And so it's really important that sarcoma patients uh, get really good multidisciplinary care. And so for every one of these cases uh, at the Rutgers Cancer Institute uh, gets presented at our multidisciplinary uh, tumor board, which meets weekly. And we go through the specifics of the exact patient. We look at their CT scans and MRIs. We review their pathology to see how aggressive it is. And then we kind of all come together and we make a plan on whether we're gonna do chemo first, then radiation, then surgery, maybe the other way around, what kind of chemo we're gonna use, etc. On occasion, uh, tumors are not able to be surgically removed, and uh, therefore, they predominantly are treated by me as a medical oncologist with things like chemotherapy. But as you can sort of imagine, uh, if there's 50 different kinds of soft tissue sarcomas, not all of them are going to respond to the same chemos in the same way.